Hey, hey, everybody, what's up? Tim here with today's SCE. I hope wherever you're at, you are doing awesome and your day is phenomenal. Thank you so much for watching. The title for today is Don't Let Strife Get Into You. And I'm filming from the great state of Michigan. For the last couple days, I've been up here working with a top-notch group uh, in the Michigan area, and it has been an absolute heartache blast. Snowing every day, cold. It's about 12 degrees right now, but just an awesome precursor to the holidays coming up. And it's got me feeling kind of festive. So I want to talk today about the topic of strife. And if you are getting ready to move into the holidays, you know how awesome they can be, but you know also that strife can totally derail your holiday season and your experience, especially if you're hanging out with family or you're going out and shopping. You are going to have the opportunity to enter into strife. And what you want to make sure doesn't happen is that you let it get into you. So strife is just simply becoming offended or getting bitter or becoming angered and resentful and unforgiving. And like I said, we're gonna have a lot of opportunity to do that. So this happened to me over the past couple months, uh, especially the few weeks going into Thanksgiving. I was dealing with a couple different um, service providers on some issues, some of which involved a bunch of money and the service levels we were getting were just not acceptable. And for the amount of money we were spending, it absolutely was just not meeting the needs that we needed to see happen and that I needed to have happen for me. And I took it personally. I started getting angry and I started to become bitter. And I took that with me into the Thanksgiving holiday. And I was thinking about it and I was stewing on it. And it just really robbed me of some of the joy and the fulfillment and the gladness and the family time that Thanksgiving can offer. So after I got out of that period of time, I took a look at myself and I said, I got to get out of this because it's not helping me. So here's the deal with strife. Once again, it doesn't matter if we're driving through the parking lots and somebody cuts us off or if they cut us off on the highway or if a waiter or waitress is rude to us or something happens at work or a close family member does something, we ultimately choose whether or not we're going to be offended. And one of the best things we can do is just to chalk it up to that person having a bad day and realize it probably has nothing to do with us. And in doing so, we do not enter into strife. We let it go. But so many of us, we do take it personal and we carry it around with us and we stew on it. We stew on it. We think about it and think about it. And I love what Confucius says. Confucius says the person who gets you angry controls you. So when we allow ourselves to be angry, and I'm not talking about anger being wrong. I'm talking about stewing on it and being unforgiving and letting it just fester inside of us. Someone once said that unforgiveness is like taking poison and hoping the other person dies. And we know how poisonous that can be to our spirit, and it starts to rob us of everything that's going on. And that's exactly what happened to me over Thanksgiving. It robbed me of being present in the moment. I was thinking about it during the holiday dinner, during the football games. And I also started to see other areas of my life go sideways because I was in an area of bitterness. I was in an area of unforgiveness and I was in a pretty bad space. And when you get into that spot, you react more, uh, more shortly, you become uh, less tolerant, you become more impatient, and it just shows up in other ways because you're dealing with that inside and that repressed feeling, those repressed emotions are gonna come out. So like I said, someone once said that if somebody can make you angry, they can control you. So what we need to realize is many times it's not personal, but if we allow ourselves to become angry over something, that person is controlling us. And many times they don't even care or they don't even realize that it's upsetting us. So we walk around in a prison of our own creation and they're moving on enjoying life while we are stewing on it. So how do you overcome that? Well, like I said, you can choose not to become offended. Sometimes that's easy to do, sometimes that's not. You can choose to leave the situation and just say, you know what, this situation's not healthy, I'm getting out of it, especially if you're around family. Maybe you need to get up from the dinner, maybe you need to excuse yourself. Sometimes the best way to love people is to love them from a distance and to just limit your exposure. But ultimately, the best way to stay out of strife is through forgiveness. Because when we forgive people, it frees us of the prison of that bitterness and that anger. And many times, unforgiveness isn't about the other person, it's about us. Because once again, they've moved on and they're not angry and they don't even remember it, but we're staying there thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. For some of you, you need to hear this because you've been stewing on things for days, weeks, months, maybe even years, sometimes even decades. And you can see how anger and unforgiveness and bitterness affects people's health, their emotional state, and can totally wreck their lives. You know people like that and so do I. So forgiveness is about them or isn't about them. It's about you. And sometimes, whatever it is, forgive, 
forgiveness is tough, and I get that. Sometimes you need to make a decision to forgive people every day. It may even be a moment by moment instance, but once again, it's freeing you and has very little to do with them. And then it clears you all those negative vibes. It gets the stripe out, it gets the bitterness out, it gets the resentment out, it gets the angerness out. So you're gonna have opportunities to enter into strife this holiday season, I guarantee it. Just don't let it get inside of you, because if you do, it will kill you from the inside out. So this is Tim with today's SE. Hope you have an awesome day and found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Don't let the strife get into you. Have a great day, I'll talk to you soon.